Hey there everybody. This is going to be hopefully a short tutorial on how to install the Optifine mod for Minecraft directly from the terminal on a, on a Macintosh uh, without having to download stuff. And, uh, anyway, let me just get to the point. This is my first Minecraft video, so bear with me. So the first thing we want to do is switch over to Chrome. Uh, quick basics real quick. Spotlight is your friend. Uh, command space on your keyboard. This video is basically for people like me who mainly work from the keyboard. Work in the terminal, stuff like that. So anyway, we you do, uh, let's just go to Chrome. However you go to Chrome, go to Chrome. And what we're going to want to do is find the Optifine plugin. Uh, now this exists uh, at the Minecraft forums. Uh, you can also find the link in this description in this video, uh, or I might put it in a bubble on the screen. I don't know, somewhere in here. Anyway, just type in op uh, just do a search for Optifine, and in this case, it's the uh, top hit. Um, now, right now, this is for Minecraft version 1.2.5. 1.3 is coming out in like a month from now. But the cool thing about this link is that this link may change the description over time, but it should be permanent, so it should always bring you back to this link. Now, on this page, um, this has a bunch of different listings for the different types of Optifine that you can install. So standard, smooth, multi-core. Um, depends on what you want. <clears throat> um, now, getting to the point here, uh, find the one that you want. Uh, in this case, I'm going to go for multi-core. Now, you notice on each one of these, there's two links. There's download and mirror. Download and mirror. Download and mirror. Ignore the download one. It just links off to a uh, non-working ad server. Uh, which basically just redirects you to the mirror. Anyway, now don't left click on this. We want the link. So what you're going to want to do, right click on mirror. Uh, if you're in Chrome, it's copy link address. Uh, copy would just copy the word mirror, but we want the link address. If you're using uh, Firefox or Internet Explorer, um, it should be something similar to that. Uh, you'll have to play it by ear. Anyway, that's all we need. Right click on the uh, mirror for the Optifine version that you want, copy the link address, and that's it. No, I'm kidding. It, actually, there's more work to be done. Now, um, the next part is we need to get into the terminal. So again, uh, command space to bring up Spotlight. Start typing in the word terminal, and you notice it auto-populates, and then hit uh, enter. And here you are in the terminal. Now, the um, first thing that we're going to want to do is go to the Minecraft directory where it's installed on your system. Um, so what we're going to do is cd, change directory, uh, tilde, which is a shortcut in Unix, which is what Mac, is, Mac OS is based on, uh, for your home directory. Uh, so cd tilde slash uh, library, application, support, and Minecraft. Now another quick tip here is if you're not that familiar with the terminal is that uh, uh, it's autocomplete. So if you start typing um, the thing you're trying to get into and hit the tab key, it automatically completes that for you. It's not a nice little shortcut. Now, um, in the Minecraft directory, if you do ls, uh, which is for list, you'll see the list of files <coughs> Excuse me, in your current directory. Uh, now the first thing we want to do is to make a backup of this directory in case we totally screw up what we're about to do and we want to undo it later and not lose our saves and stuff like that. So this is pretty straightforward. Um, so we're going to do this command uh, copy, which is a cp space dash rf uh, tilde slash library application support minecraft uh, and we're basically saying we're going to copy the current directory put a space and we're going to copy it to uh, tilde slash library application support 
and type in Minecraft underscore backup. Now you can really name Minecraft underscore backup whatever you want, but this is simple and obvious and not too hard to screw up. Now uh, we want to. The next thing we want to do is verify that our directory got backed up. So what you're going to do is uh, ls dot dot slash Minecraft underscore backup. Now if this if you hit the tab key like I'm doing, it should automatically populate. The dot dot mean is telling Unix to look up one directory level uh, for the directory that we're asking for. And if you hit enter, you should see the same files that we did when we did the ls here. And that's to verify that, hey, we backed it up, so our stuff is saved. All right, now moving on, the next thing that we need to do is to convert the minecraft.jar file into a directory. And this is the part where in a lot of videos that I've seen, people are doing, going crazy and downloading unzip utilities and all kinds of stuff. And it's totally not necessary because that stuff's built into Max. That's what makes Max so awesome. Now, um, so in this directory, there's the bin directory. So if you do ls space bin, uh, these are the files that like every time you log into Minecraft and it's updating, so like when 1.3 comes out, it actually downloads all of these files and replaces them in here. So um, if you notice here, we've got minecraft.jar, which is actually a file. So if I try to like, for example, change directory to mine, uh, sorry, bin slash minecraft.jar, it's gonna say, nope, can't, not a directory. So we've got to turn that into a directory and it's really easy. So one thing most people don't realize is that jar files, which are uh, Java files, uh, are actually just zip archives with a different name. Um, now you can, there's some technicalities, but they're zip archives for the sake of uh, what we're doing. Now, um, this command is actually pretty easy. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna type in, um, and I'll explain what this is doing as I go along. So you're gonna do unzip uh, dash D and just give it a name like M, uh, bin slash MC temp uh, unzip dash D bin slash MC temp space bin slash minecraft dot jar and what this is doing is the dash D is saying unzip minecraft dot jar into a new directory called MC temp notice we're doing bin slash so that all of this is done in the bin directory uh, now the next step is to say and the two ampersands basically mean tells Unix do this command then do this command then do another command and you can totally break these commands out individually if you want to do them line by line that that, that works too um, this is just my preferred way of doing it so anyway uh, so the first thing we're to do is we're telling this to unzip the bin slash minecraft.jar into a new directory called bin slash mc temp. Next thing we want to do is say remove bin slash minecraft.jar because uh, we're not going to need that file anymore. Then two ampersands again for and. Uh, so we remove the bi um, bin slash minecraft.jar, then do uh, the last part is we're basically going to rename the MC temp directory to minecraft.jar. And so we say move bin slash MC temp to bin slash MC temp to bin slash minecraft.jar. And hit enter. You see a lot of this going on. And basically, this is. Um, unzip going through and unzipping the .jar file. Now, if we look again in the bin directory, well, it looks the same, except now I can go a bit, I can change directory into bin slash minecraft.jar, hit enter, and now I'm actually in that directory. Uh, now, Minecraft, if you wanted to test this, Minecraft would totally open up right now. Uh, which I'll do just to demonstrate, and then we'll get back to the show. 
So I'm going to log in. And even though it's a directory and not a file, um, Minecraft doesn't care. Oh, by the way, crazyfools.co.uk, that's my server where I play. Greatest fucking server in the world. Okay, so let's quit out of this and get back to updating the uh, plugin, or adding the mod, sorry. Um, okay, now what we're going to do is, if you did what I just did in CD, make sure you CD change the directory back up two levels so that you're back in the um, Minecraft directory. So if you do PWD, it should look like this, user slash your name slash library application support Minecraft, where we started before the change directory. Um, okay, next thing we need to do is to actually download the Optifine plugin, which is going back to the URL we copied a few minutes ago. So what we're going to do is, uh, and this is kind of tricky, but uh, when downloading, we're going to use this awesome command built into Unix called curl. And if you have any questions about this, just put them in the comments, and I'd be more than happy to uh, answer them. Anyways, basically what we're going to do is uh, curl dash o dash dash referrer er. Uh, and the spelling is wrong, but it's right. Just go with it. Um, refer -er -er, HTTP, two double slashes, and a colon in between. Uh, optifind.net forward slash. Put a space, and then command V, which pastes the link that we copied earlier. And don't hit return yet. One more thing we got to do here. Um, use your arrows, go back over to the part where it says add load.php, delete that, change that to download. Okay, and then it, your command should look like this. If you're typing this as I'm talking, just switch back over and make sure that it looks something like this. Um, the version here, the 1.2.5 underscore HD underscore MT and all this stuff, that will be totally arbitrary based on whatever link you copied and whatever version of Minecraft is current while you're watching this video. Um, okay, at this point hit return. Now what we're looking at here, this is the output from curl and, and basically this is telling us like, okay, the total size was 259k the amount of data it received was 259k, and then there, there's like all this other stuff. So, um, but what's important to remember is uh, if you typed any of the curl command incorrectly, uh, this would not download. Uh, it would not download correctly. And so, what you want to look at is to verify that this actually downloaded uh, as a zip file and not as like an error response from the server. Uh, easy way to do this, uh, and a quick note, when you're looking at, if you do an ls in here, you'll see the file actually downloads as download.php uh, question f equals optifine yada 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 dot zip. Um, that's just a file name, it's totally arbitrary and will be vanished in about three minutes. Um, now, the way you test this is uh, type cat and download and then hit tab to auto complete it and what you should see is something like this where it's a lot of uh, it's not actually not random code this is the text representation of the zip archive um, and this is what you should see <clears throat> if something went wrong um, what you would be looking at would be like a little one-liner message that says something like invalid uh, request or something like that um, in which case just double check the curl command Make sure you put it in exactly like it did, and you should be good to go. Okay, now this is the last step to installing this, um, and it's simply unzipping the Optifine zip archive directly into the minecraft.jar directory, and it goes something like this. So uh, first thing is do an ls again, make sure that you're still in the directory where the file is that we downloaded, and you're going to type in uh, unzip which kind of makes sense, you know, unzip, dash o, and I'll explain what that is for in a second, um, unzip dash o, and we want to unzip 
uh, crap. Okay, oh, whoops. We want to unzip this. Uh, we want to unzip dash o download.php tab autocomplete optifine blah 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 uh, the file that we are unzipping into and this is where the d dash d command is it's telling unzip okay take all the files I'm get I'm unarchiving uh, unzipping and put them into this directory and what we do is type in bin slash minecraft.jar hit enter and that's it uh, Optifine is now installed. Uh, the last thing that we want to do is rm on the download.php uh, opti blah 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 dot zip. Uh, we don't need that anymore. So at this point, Optifine is now installed. Now let's verify that. Let's go to Minecraft. Again, command space for the spotlight. Um, go to Minecraft. And let's go ahead and log in. And let's also make sure that nothing happened. And um, this all looks good. We'll go to options and then go to video settings. And Optifine is now installed. Um, so that's it. And uh, that is how you install Optifine from the terminal. Now, last thing that I'll go over is like say that we screwed something up or you want to get rid of Optifine or for whatever reason you want to restore the backup that we made before it's really easy so what you're gonna do is um, if you're not in the directory in the Minecraft directory which is totally possible just remember CD change directory tilde slash library slash application support hit return. Uh, if you do an ls, you can see all the di directories in here, and you should see um, directories and files. You should see Minecraft, and you should see the version, the directory, the copy we created earlier, Minecraft underscore backup. So if you want to just restore this and get rid of Optifine, put your backup, it's really easy. Just do, remove rm dash rf uh, Minecraft. Hit enter. Uh, return screen. And if, uh, oh, and then move Minecraft underscore backup space, type in Minecraft, and you've now restored your backup. And to prove that also, we'll go back to Minecraft, log in again, and go to our options, video settings, and now it's all back to the way it was. Okay, that is uh, longer than I thought it would be, <laughs> but that is how you can totally do this from the terminal without having to use any external applications, just doing everything the good old native Mac OS way and learning some stuff about the terminal. Um, I hope you enjoyed this and thanks a lot. Bye.